Get your squares <laughs> out now. Get your hex get your and your flips. Oh, we'd be here for now, hours if you wanted me to I'll get start. my squares out. Everybody gets one. Mm -hmm. See, all the squares that Dieter doesn't do, I have to compensate for. <laughs> no, no one has to compensate. Why would you? In their memory, we should not do that. In my memory? Yeah, in your memory. <laughs> Where did I go? In memorial. I don't know, dude. It's up to you, dude. Dear, dear looks at his hands, he's like fading from existence. <laughs> in memory? <laughs> I'm just like shaking because Cheeky can just unmake people with a word. <laughs> Like, hang on, can I, like, I wonder if I can, like, gray out D. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's gone. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Dieter, what's happening to you? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't, I don't have the context for it yet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I am not looking at the Twitch. Uh -huh. I hope he's still going to show up. Which I guess I should post on my personal server that I am doing things. <laughs> right. Cheeky, your your stream has a Taco Bell commercial. Dude, oh. hell yeah! <laughs> we made it. Congrats. <laughs> it's a podium that says it's a taco, and then another one that says it's a sandwich. They're having a debate whether or not the crispy a chicken a uh, sandwich? sandwich no sandwich taco oh, hell sorry yeah. i was zoomed out interesting <sighs> so who's here yeah. ink is here tuxedo hopefully my computer doesn't explode i haven't streamed in a bit <laughs> <laughs> it's not used to it anymore <laughs> L'Oreal. I wonder if your computer could handle you, your camera turning on, since, like, Nugget's camera isn't on? I don't know. Do I dare risk El Risque? We could see. I mean, I don't know mm -hmm. what... Um... Yeah, I don't know what you have to do to reset it. That's up to you <laughs> to decide <laughs> if you want to run the risk. It all breaks down. Yeah. Everything um, sets on fire. What is my current CPU usage? 80%? That's good. That's, that's what you want. <laughs> that, that's decent. Yeah. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh. I need to find a way to, like... Have my camera running without having the stupid like program for my webcam open. This is mm. just using up like fifteen percent right. of my usage. Uh, Dang. Yeah, because I just plug in my camera and then Discord is like, "Do you want to use this?" Yeah, mm. like I don't need a, <laughs> another program. Right. Yeah, because like I, I click use camera, and it's like oh, no camera because program's uh, not open, and I'm like, well. Right. Stop. Yeah, that's the weird thing with, like, OBS, too, because it's just, like, mm. you can't use OBS without also having the Elgato, like, program installed, Ugh. even though it doesn't translate to the OBS. So, I don't know, it was, I, I had, luckily I had friends that were just like, yeah, it's dumb, just do this. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Here's what you do, buddy. Yeah. Alright, well, what... The heck do we even remember from the previous weeks as I put the music back to well let's get like this area. I'm forgetting I need to change music. Uh, well, awesome. got a we can, we can have some fan interaction here. Why don't uh, the people in chat <laughs> tell us what happened last week and what we need to say. Uh, <laughs> so it's your it's your chance to rewrite history how you want. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What what canonically happened? <laughs> what happened last time? Mm -hmm. We all chatted. Pretty died. It's 
Oh, guess he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> not, our, not our baby boy. He didn't even find his GF. What's that about? <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Nothing happened last week. I didn't say last week. Well, I said last time. You said last week. I also said last time. Said <laughs> time. <laughs> Shay, yeah. Shay's like, don't contradict me. <laughs> don't you dare. United Front. Come on. What are you doing? We talked about this. <laughs> yeah, don't argue in front of the in front of the chat. <laughs> don't argue in front of the chat. <laughs> mm hmm Um, for those who do not know yet, in handouts there is the Bastion's Marketplace, where you can see the actual prices of things now, rather than us just speculating all the time. Mm -hmm. So you can see what is what for now. Oh. Um, And that's about that for <laughs> recapping any mechanic changes. I suppose mm -hmm. just be aware now that you are in town, you have an area to place all your money should you want to walk out and not have slots in your inventory <laughs> full of money. Because you've got, you've got to keep an eye on your equipment loads and stuff. You can only carry so much yeah. dosh. Except for Comet. <laughs> <laughs> I am the bank. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I am the bank. So far, I'm pretty sure you have one gold piece in the party storage, and that's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're probably going to get a lot more this episode. Maybe. Who oh, put a gold piece in the bank? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's just that, like, it's it's a gift gold, or it's like, yeah. thanks for starting, <laughs> thanks for starting a savings mm -hmm. account. <laughs> just interest from having the account open. You have to have something in your account, or else they penalize you. Yeah. Uh, with yeah like, here's a gold. <sighs> well, we got back to town after dealing with uh, the, the yeah the other town. Yeah, yeah dying for the, the fourth town. time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talking with uh, Abby. And then thinking we were going to go to the chapel. Comet uh, shared a lot of his backstory. Started to be like, yo, this might be That's dangerous, right, peeps. Yeah. Um, and then we kind of all said, like, all right, well, if it's dangerous, we're going to start upgrading our stuff. But we can't do that without first going to the mine. And that's kind of where we're where at. Where it is Infl dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but slightly Infl less. I'm saying a very uh, touching song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Penny Watts. Awesome. And also a comment is Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're just I right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right now the constellation's just Gemini. Jimin. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the constellation Jamiroquai, dude? That's what we really need. It's like, it's like you were supposed to go up, uh, you know, together like an act or whatever. And so she's up there posing like, bro, you're leaving. Me. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be right there. Um, I gotta memorize my line. To the south, you'll be able to see the interior of your hangout area now, so if you want to have any scenes in there, you can run down there and sleep. There's beds. The latest. Oh. Which, yeah. which direction yeah, is who from the top? Which hmm? direction is who from where? Which direction is the mine from the town? Uh, the mine is back out where you came, yeah, so west. Hmm. Yeah, past the, ah. past the other tower. All the way that way. <laughs> yeah. You remember where we fought the uh, bat creatures? I'm already at the entrance. <laughs> I'm already at the entrance. Well, it's nighttime right go. now. We gotta, we gotta mm -hmm. go to sleep first. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going out rushing again. Not, not after last time. Mm -hmm. 
I leap into bed and immediately fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Speed running it. As your god given right as, a, <laughs> as an adventurer. I the bed and I'm out. <laughs> I think uh, before going to sleep, Silas is just gonna like take his armor over to Harolf's forge and just like put a, a, a bag of 200 gold and just very like crudely write just help <laughs> <laughs> on it. He squints at you as he's sitting there while you're writing help on the armor and not just <laughs> asking him to. <laughs> oh, I thought he was in bed. He's sitting right in the middle of the night. He was sleeps. wasted. It's just made him stronger. <laughs> oh, uh, you're, you're awake. They nod, although wasted. Mm -hmm. cool. Just handle this in the morning. <laughs> and I'll just he grumbles quick. about handling something whenever they want to handle a thing, but it's unintelligible. And then I'll just like kind of put the gold like like if he doesn't extend a hand out I'll just put it on the top of his head and then I'll uh, go back to the house uh, all through the oh, night you all bang. hear the hammering of metal <laughs> <laughs> um, well when we head inside uh, oh there's rooms yeah there aren't many other floors but that's just your group's floor the rest of the NPCs head further up all right, we'll head inside. Um, <clears throat> before we go to bed, I want to do a sending spell. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk to Harvey. Um, I want to say, Hi, it's Comet. Um, Melody said you were heading to the observatory? Why are you there and not here? Does um count as a word for that? Does Absolutely. that count towards your limit? Well, I guess it's um in the dictionary. <laughs> how many how many words did I use? I wasn't keeping track. <laughs> oh, I think I you're counting. I think you you made it. I think you're fine. Right. It was just like, hi, Harvey. Um <laughs> <laughs> Rookie mistake. Uh <laughs> you get back shortly after. Well, I thought I'd take the chance to check it on the way. I should be back in the morning. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> I like long Viridian on the table. Yeah, Viridian <laughs> has become a table. Hey guys, check out this trick that I know. <laughs> 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 Just anamorphs into a table. <laughs> Where do you want to sleep, Viridian? Sleep? No, no. Let me enter my table eight. <laughs> my table phase. <laughs> All right, cool. It's nice to know he's safe. Absolutely. Now, which uh, room is everyone's? This is a very, this is very important. This is incredibly important. <laughs> mm -hmm. Personally, I, I took the couch. No, you're one of those on people, huh? One of those people. I'll just chill as well in that same room. I'm gonna sit yeah, in the chest. The chest, in the the chest table. Board <laughs> you play checkers with yourself all night. I go inactive. <laughs> uh, Virdi will take this one so he can jump out the window onto his horse. <laughs> Whenever they need to. So, I'll go upstairs and say good night, or on my way up there, say good night, everyone. Um, if there's a big bed. I'll probably just head on to the big bed here. The big bed. Oh, grande! <laughs> yeah. Adelaide goes to the furthest room possible. <laughs> <laughs> Back corner. <laughs> Do you know the interaction that we had at the end of uh, last session? <laughs> so technically, Silas would be here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Viridian. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, 
There's another, there's like a whole other like two rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that like I didn't... Flots, Flotsam's in here and then Viridian's like, hey Flotsam, can I stay in this room? <laughs> <laughs> Feel alone. Knock, knock, knock. He's got his blanket. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, no, I guess this would probably be more canon. Hang on. Let me... The horse in the <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> no. <laughs> that way they just have to run downstairs. <laughs> Well, now the thing is, we need to recreate the Entumber cast in Metopia so that we can have the, the yeah, horse right. room. The horse yeah, room. The horse room. Table. Viridian has to put, stay there the put, whole time. Uh, put the horse playing me in checkers. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> You'd lose. You really want to test them? Mm, yeah. Viridian's a world-renowned checkers player. Absolutely. All right. Uh... In the morning, when it comes, I will just also be out, sort of. Well, around. at night, oh. as you are kind of oh. just in your sentinel state, playing checkers with yourself, uh, you hear the door open to your right. A lot of people have sort of came in and then went upstairs and even further upstairs to the upper rooms. But uh, you see someone who you maybe don't want to see, or you. You know, it's, it's you have a weird relationship with him. Uh, Graham walks in. Oh, Graham. Like, like, like Kramer from Seinfeld. <laughs> they wander <laughs> in. You know, something's going to happen, you know? Like. Hey, Flotsam. Hey, Flotsam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they seem to look at you and then, like, to the fire as they kind of walk over to see Helly and just splayed out on a couch having a nap down here i just look at graham and to see what he's doing i'm not gonna speak to him unless he speaks to me uh he does walk over sitting down not really caring about the game he kind of just moves a piece just an illegal move like there's no way you can play that in a game but he did it i put the piece back to like where it's supposed to be where like from where he moved it back to <laughs> He has kind of a, a dumb <laughs> smile on his face as he knows it probably annoyed you more than it should. But uh, he kind of nods towards where Ra is. Is she asleep? I assume so. You hear a loud snoring. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, God. Oh, that sounds really loud. Yeah. <laughs> Just like having like a, a little pilot light. When she breathes out, oh, no. just like a little, <laughs> yeah. She's asleep. Yes. Uh, he kind of leans back in the stool, realizing there's no back, and kind of leans against the table. Somehow he leans like a cool guy. Somehow in this situation, he leans. <laughs> he leans. <laughs> I have figured out a bit more on our predicament. And we're going to need something. Go on. Uh, he unfurls like a, a scroll. You can you can you recognize a spell scroll when you see one. Mm. I have somewhat jerry rigged two spells together to help us in what we're doing. But I'm afraid that if we do not have some sort of buffer substance in the way that I'd just be mending cracks and not mending what is meant to be behind the cracks. And what would you suggest in terms of this dampener? I need to know what your he kind of looks over to Ra and then he like looks over and that like kind of taps his forehead I need to know what that's made out of do I do I know what that's made out of like um, roll a history let's see if you can 
see if you were ever told, or if you have it like in any of your databanks, if Me your creators like... wanted you to know this or not, kind of thing. <laughs> sure, history. A twelve. Um, all you can really know is that it's red. Of what type of crystal it is, you're not sure. Okay. Um, I don't know how you suggested you go about learning that information. The only information that I, the color of the of the gemstone, um, its exact substance, I'm not exactly sure. If you trust me enough, I could look. And check for myself. I mean, I'm already going to be rooting around in there later, but would this be? Would this? I don't know if I would know this specifically, Cheeky. If this would be like a operation, if I would have to be like passed out for this, or like, I don't. I guess I don't know how my my own anatomy canonic. Um, um you're not too sure. You've definitely been unconscious before, but it's been a while since you were, like, powered off. Like, ever since you were basically brought back, you've never really fully powered off. And you're not really sure if you'd ever be able to come back. So that kind of lingers on your mind, but Graham kind of waves his hands. He's like, no, I'm, I'm fairly sure I'd be able to do it with you. Well, watching, if that's what you do. While I'm going to remove your face, yeah, he knows. <laughs> While you're, I'm going to look over. I'm, I'm going to look over uh, at the Hellion. Um, would it be okay if I had another person um, with me during this? It's not that I don't trust you, Graham. It's just that he stops for a second. It is that I don't trust. Him. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of smiles and nods. <laughs> I wouldn't either, but. If you're okay with them asking questions on what we're doing, that's completely up to you. Understood. Um, how soon can you, uh, how long would it take you to do this and how soon could you do it? <sighs> he kind of looks around for any clothes. <laughs> I could, I could, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, that's why I'm approaching you. Thought I'd tell you before you leave, just in case you can find any of it. Understood. Could you follow me, then? He nods, kind of getting up and dusting his pants off a bit. I'm gonna go up to Adelaide's door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and I'll knock on I'll knock on the door. Loud enough to wake up Adelaide, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you hear, like, some beleaguered sighs. Uh, and you hear someone get up, um, and she, like, opens the door crack. Adelaide, I'm wondering if you might do me a favor. One that I think would perhaps... I know that one of the things that you value is knowledge. And I also know that you're not a person to share things that aren't necessarily um, forced from you. And I'm hoping to count on your discretion and hope I'm hoping as well that perhaps in assisting me you will be able to gain some knowledge that you would otherwise um, not be not a not otherwise be able to get um, I'm sorry to with what uh, Is Graham has Graham like followed us? No, as well? he, he kind of shot you a look as you walked upstairs and not to Ra, but yeah. <laughs> kind of yeah. just left. Yeah. Um, I have come to understand that as a part of my being, that be, and I'll just kind of like gesture to like all of me, like referring to like the Warforged. Um, like any other machine, there has, I've come to recognize that there is a malfunction inside of me. One that I'm hoping to remedy and one that I'm also hoping that the rest of the group does not learn about. Um, I've learned that Graham can assist me 
and repairing what is what it is that is broken. However, I do not trust Graham. And while I may be conscious for a part of a procedure, sort of a diagnostics um, checkup on my on my person, while I may be conscious, again, I do not trust Graham, and you're a person that I trust. I'm hoping that at the very least you could watch over the procedure for, I imagine it won't take very long, and then you can return to your rest. But I would just like it if someone that I trust was with me during this moment. Um, and if I'm being frank, and I will be as frank with you as I can, I don't want Ra to be aware of, of the procedure. I don't, I'm, and, and to be as more frank, I don't think Viridian necessarily be the right one for this and as I understand it Silas and Comet are preoccupied <laughs> very well I'll like go and get Graham or like maybe at that point if Graham has come up. but I'm, um, I'm Flotsam I yes. need you to understand this yes I don't need your trust. Understood. That you'll go get ready for whatever's gonna happen. <laughs> uh. yeah. Do you bring Graham I'll, up, or do you go down to? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't want to do it in the same room that Ra's in. Um, so maybe I'll bring Graham like into this like room huh. and and get Adelaide as well, whichever would make more sense. Um. I don't know what he needs, like, from me, so I don't know if he needs me. He's got an operating oh, table, to and up, yeah. the only tool he has is a gun. <laughs> All right, like, it's like a crowbar. All right, let's go. Here we go. And then I'll just, like, um, like gesture for Adelaide to, like, be there um, as well. Oh, uh, yeah, he seems to walk in, pull out the seat from the table, and kind of just gesture it for you. Uh, yeah, I'll sit. Alright, well, this, this might be a little weird, as you are probably going to see things that people were not meant to see. You know, it's like... Are you like talking was, this or Adelaide this? Well, both of you, really. Oh, <laughs> just okay. just to Adelaide. I think it would be like if I pulled your brain out in front of you and showed it to you, but you were still alive. I'm honestly <laughs> curious into how you feel about this. I un I have understand that my nature is different than those of other living things for quite some time now, Graham. Uh, though I should say I have a little bit of trepidation for my own safety. I would like answers. Well, let's see if we can get them for you. Uh, he seems to start some kind of arcane uh, spell. You've seen Adelaide cast many arcane-based spells, while yours are more bardic, <laughs> more, more vibration-based spells rather than sigil-based. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Adelaide, as they're kind of casting this, uh, roll a perception. Fireball. I chose the right person to be in the room. Perception, you say? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> um, as they cast, the, the spell seems safe. It doesn't seem like they're doing anything crazy. They're definitely not casting Fireball or any bad thing. It's more of just like a weird telekinesis spell. As um, Flotsam's head kind of starts to like, gears start twisting on the sides, panels start like <laughs> opening where you didn't really see panels, there were like just very seamless gaps in their faceplate and head plates. And uh, slowly, Flotsam, you've, like, you, your gaze kind of spreads as your eyes are like spread apart and your face opens up. Uh, kind of. Unnerving if another Warforge was looking at this, maybe seeing their head kind of <laughs> do this, but um, Adelaide and Flotsam, you both see a rather small crystal, maybe like 
two to three inches big and are very slim, kind of floats out, very tethered by many different little wires and tubings uh, is shown to you. And as he's holding it, he seems to cast <laughs> another spell, probably identify, to identify it. Um, and then it looks... And in there, I'm, can I, like, mumble out a little incantation and cast detect magic? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so I can tell what kind of spell <laughs> stuff is going on. Shatter! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Crushes it. Oh, not that one, no. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you know, telekinesis, whatever that is. Transmutation, or evoke, I don't know. <laughs> whatever it is. Whatever it is. Yeah, and Take whatever identify is. is. Enchantment. Divination, probably. Divina yeah. Yep. Those. <laughs> sure. um, Everything's above board. But more notably for you and what your perception kind of gathered is that he seems to be wearing a rather powerful arcane ring on his hand, on his left hand. And uh, you definitely notice this ring to bear the symbol of the Baronet family. It's like their crest on the ring, their signet ring. And it's like very well carved. It's like an amethyst jewel that's been carved into their sigil. And it seems to flash as he's using these spells in some way. Um, but he... But his name is Graham. <laughs> yeah, just Graham, not... not, not Baronet at all. Not Baronet, what? Uh, he seems to return your crystal into your head, Flotsam, and put you back together. And uh, it, you kind of feel your head kind of vacuum seal shut again. It's, it's a weird sensation to hear and feel. <laughs> uh, and he takes out Everything like his like little notes and he writes it down, kind of taps his chin. Seems to be a rather expensive red zircon. Probably very common when you were created, but not so anymore. Sorry, I'm like, I want to write. I'm just trying to write that down. Yeah. How do you spell it? Z E R C O N? Yep. Zircon? Okay. Um, Red Zircon. Okay. What does that mean for me? It means we either need to find another one, or... Well, yeah, we need to find another one if we want to do this safely. Does it have to be the same size or quality as the one that you've shown us? I do not think so. I think we'd only use a bit of the resources to fix the seams. You know, it's like glue. Understood. Will that be all, Graham? He nods. I'll keep an eye out for one, but you know, if you find one, even better. Then we shall discuss this later. He was a thumbs up, kind of yawns. <laughs> Think I'll you may hit the hay. I may leave. I'm I'm going to leave. I don't need your permission to leave. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You may need my permission to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks to the door. Are you, like, in the doorway? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're leveling a wand at him, like... <laughs> I'm torn right now. There are many <laughs> things I could do. Ooh. Disintegrate his brain. <laughs> we got you mm. for ten minutes of playtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of takes a step, then, me. like... If you don't move when he kind of steps forward, he kind of just raises an eyebrow at you. To the side, but as I do, um, Adelaide says, That's a lovely ring you have. <laughs> uh, he kind of looks at it. is my favorite. Oh, really? I took you for more of a sapphire girl. Well, things can be surprising, can't they? Very. We might be more than what we appear on the surface. Yeah, kind of attempts to squeeze past you. 
I mean, once a murderous yeah, man becomes got anyway, a good idea. Tired, so. I will 100% back you up. Back you up he kind of smiles. So he's right. like, I'm sure we are, Miss Silmaris, but... Where no. did you get it? I've been looking for one. Quite similar to that. Um, roll a persuasion. See if you're see if, see how inclined he is not to get a persuasion. Your <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, wow! Yes! Yes! Ooh. Yes! He kind of shrugs. He probably feels like there's no <laughs> reason to lie in this situation, being in a, a house full of your allies. And, and he kind of just looks at it and kind of gives kind of like a a, a, a grim smirk to it. Well, I killed the man who once wore it. I don't think your question came through. Oh. Ah, and who was that? Well, I'm sure you recognize it, the Grand Duke. Probably not the one you are after, but, you know. The senior of the baronets. Were you at all close with them? Or did you just find, uh, you know, the, the Lord of the Baronets wandering around and you took his ring? Uh, he kind of fiddles with the ring, obviously recollecting a time when he <laughs> killed this man for his ring. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have to tell you of all people that they deserve what's coming to them. But... You could say we were close. But we were only close because I wanted us to be close. He's sneaky. Your life wasn't the only one ruined by the Baronets. I'm well aware. Do you know an Edward Baronet? By chance? Of course I know of an Edward Baronet. Got a name, write it down. Everyone knows Edward Baronet. Well, do you know where I might be able to find him? He kind of raises an eyebrow. <laughs> when you're In the looking, city, I'm guessing. You're looking for revenge as well? Not on my behalf. Hmm. Consider it a professional favor. No, I have not seen Edward in a while. If I do, I could tell you. I think I could find him on my own. Have a good night, Graham. Sweet dreams. And I will <laughs> turn around and walk in my room. <laughs> He'll <laughs> look over at you, Flotsam, and kind of just... I'll get up, and I'll close the door. <laughs> close was, the it, door was it just me? Or did it sound like that Sweet Dreams was really code for a go fuck yourself? <laughs> 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 Is that what it sounded like? I don't know, maybe I'm just hearing things. <laughs> I, you don't hear, like, it, that takes a bit, but then you hear, like, footsteps leaving. As if they, they lingered out there for a moment. <laughs> and then they go wherever they go. You, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. <laughs> and then once I'm done with my inactive state, I'm gonna sit there and think for a while, but I'll go back down and just sort of like mm -hmm. hang out. Um well the night passes. You all wake up long rested. And uh, Flotsam, in your, in your time sitting around, you, you do definitely know probably where you could find one of these crystals. Will you tell me where that is, or...? <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of get a flashback just, uh, to, uh... You a get flashback. a flashback to burying the head of a fellow of your kind, and you think maybe he would have one in his head, whether you kind of think you have the 
the Schutzper to dig up that head and take its crystal, though, is on your Schutzper. morals. <laughs> mm. Mm. I have to think about that for a little <laughs> bit. Hmm. I'm not gonna go do that right now, or something. No, no, yeah, definitely not right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see ya, bye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. uh, waking, waking up early. Hell yeah! Uh, only, only in D and D. Yeah, right. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, just wake up and um, I'll make my way outside. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll drag everybody else out from the abyss. Else around the ramp. They go. Good morning. He's out. <laughs> oh, I'll sneak out. Just woke up like an arm <laughs> on your face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have inhaled at least a kilo of hair. <laughs> well, I think Harvey's I'm okay. Raising eyebrows. Last thing I heard about Harvey, he was going to the observatory, but it looks like he's okay. He said something about going on the wave, but I thought the observatory was farther than coming on the way. So I don't know why he went out of his way. I'm just kind of talking to anybody that's here. It just looks like it's just me. <laughs> anybody who <laughs> was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Lots of like turns his head and like. Are you are you speaking to me or just out loud? <laughs> Both. Well, I'm sure we our paths with Harvey will cross again. Um, I it hasn't been exactly clear to me. Are we have we decided whether we're going to the mines to check for that special material, or are we actually going to go to the chapel? Um, I think. Yeah, like. The mines, It's Mines Day. It's Mines. Um, I think we're going to the mines. Understood. <laughs> I gotta wait for everyone to wake up and come. Oh, uh, I'm gonna check up on my little mouse friend. Uh, he's he's asleep right now. Okay. <laughs> he's so uh, he's like one handing a huge crumb, one handing like a bit of ration. Like as he fell asleep mid munch. Imagine right. that it's just like a circle with a mouse face. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's an orb. It's a mouse orb. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's good. Or they're good. Uh, would I have heard any of the conversation? I mean, we're like sharing a wall. I don't know. More like a perception with disadvantage, if you were even up at that moment. Yeah. Uh, advantage perception. You you Let definitely it. heard the people. Like you heard okay. Adelaide, Graham, and Flotsam in a room talking, though you don't remember what. Okay. Probably well, wouldn't ask too much about that. The dangerous game playing perception checks for other people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the only reason I ask is because it's Comet, and he probably wouldn't have cared either way. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> um, I will stay here until the, everyone else wakes up. I have nothing else to do until we're ready to leave. I believe Raw is out there. Um, I think Silas went to visit the blacksmith last night before we went turned in for bed. Our right, Polly wants some upgrades. I'll go wait with Raw. Make sure she doesn't run by herself. Understood. Oh, yeah, mine! Do it! <laughs> Viridian, you, you see like a, a, a shadow fall at the windows as Viridian jumps down onto world. <laughs> onto his horse. Silas will just eventually get up and meet Adelaide at the stairs, I guess.
Morning. <laughs> on bread. I'm just gonna try to like sneak past you as you're just blocking up the stairs. <laughs> Good morning, Flotsam. Good morning, Silas. And then if Viridi... I, I mean, once everyone has come down... Go outside. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, as you all kind of fixing to leave, and, and it definitely looks like you're all... Getting ready to leave, given the <laughs> insinuation to everyone around that now might be the last time you can do something before they leave. Uh, Comet, you hear Beth calling out your name as she's kind of running out the door towards you. As she oh. gets to about the corner of the house, she stops running and realizes she doesn't need to run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, Ra, I'll be right there. I'll, 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 news, buddy. <laughs> I'll walk back I'll walk up to Beth Hi Good um, morning She Looks as if she's in a good mood You can never tell her expression Because of the mask uh, But she has something in her hands That she kind of holds up to you it Seems just like a, a A clump of Leathers As if it's just like a A, a large bundle of something Okay Oh Um is, I mean this. is this for me? Uh, she not. <laughs> of course it's for you. Uh, I'll reach my hand out. Uh, you unroll it or unfurl it, and it seems like a rather large backpack compared to the one you are currently <laughs> wearing. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, I could carry so much more. Yeah, she nods. It seems kind of giddy. You're always walking around with that tiny backpack. You look like a little schoolboy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> you look like you could carry like everyone here on your shoulders. And it's like I've had the backpack for a while, so I guess that's kind of why I just. Uh, but this one looks really good. Exactly, and, and like she like pulls open a compartment. It's like, look, you could like put more of those flowers you find in here. You can. There's like a lot of compartments to this thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a cam uh, yeah. oh, what is it, cargo backpack. Yeah, it's like a cargo <laughs> backpack almost. Yeah. And it like has extra straps, so if you're like tumbling, it won't fall off. And Oh, that's it's really good. helpful, Beth. How, did you make this? Uh, she nods and like, well, Lawrence helped a little. But... Oh, well, thank you to you both. I'll be sure to pass the message. This is, uh... This is a great present. Um, I'll make sure to transfer everything I have. Um, I guess I should leave my the old one here. Um, but thank you. Oh, this will be a big help. Oh, and now I have a place to put your potions too. Oh, yeah, she just just took a special potion compartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. So I'll I'll thank her, um, and I'll start putting everything into the new backpack. All right, you all stay safe out there. I don't have any clue where you're going, but you always come back. So oh. yeah, we're gonna head over to the mines. We're gonna try to help Harold out, okay. so he could help us out. I think so he'll be a bit less grumpy. Well, I don't know if he's grumpy. He's helped us before. No, grumpy people can still help you. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, well, we'll be back, Beth. It was nice talking to you. We'll see you later. She gives, like, a slight bow, <laughs> slaps you on the arm, and then runs away. <laughs> runs away. Yeah. I, I thought, like, for a second, she was gonna go in for the awkward hug. Like, no, no, did I misread that? Well, <laughs> She kind of did, but she just, like, slapped you on the arm and then ran. Um, Silas, as you approach again, <laughs> the, the, the Harold, uh, he seems to have your armor ready, and uh, it's like out on a mannequin, sitting there, as Ooh. he seems to be like slumped down on his little box asleep, just like kind of dad sleeping on his chair. Mm -hmm. Dad sleeping. 
<laughs> I'll try to like quietly take it not to wake him up and I'll just say like thank you as I walk <laughs> away. And uh last thing that happens is as you're all kitting up uh, Graham kind of over to you Adelaide as you're walking past. Okay. Like Go over a bit hesitant. Saunters away from Virgil as he uh, kind of Hover hands directs you over here. <coughs> now, I, I know you hate a lot of people, and you're very angry about a lot of things. <laughs> oh, you're very perceptive, good sir. Yes. Um, Virgil tells me that you are all heading to the, uh, the chapel at some point. Probably not today, but once we're better prepared, yes. I don't suppose any of you would mind if I tagged along, would you? Some of us might mind. I don't know, I'll have to ask them. Well, I think it might interest you, because I have something... There might be something down there. I know you probably don't trust anyone, or anything, but if you trust the fact that I have done what I have done to acquire the things I have, then he guy, guy looks around and he uh, reaches into his coat and pulls out a key. This might have something to do with you and your family. Me? Maybe, maybe more your family than you, but you are a part of your family, so you. It is no secret that the baronets despised your family with your father's position and being who he was. There were notes that the senior baronet was keeping about something being down in the crypts down there. Project he was working Some, on. Something related to, to all, all the creatures going around? No, it seemed to be before that. Oh. The notes were very vague and they just simply mentioned the Hilmar's family and betrayal. <laughs> so you can see why I am interested. <laughs> yes, I can certainly see why. And when you when you find this this thing, uncover these secrets, what will you do? Yeah, shrugs. <laughs> React, I suppose. I just want to know. Curious. I like knowing things. Let them know um, that you'd like to tag along. We'll make sure that we communicate. Splendid. He tucks the key back away in his shirt. Well, good luck out there. Don't get killed. Thank you. She will leave. Man, fuck this guy. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> hate him. Ugh. I just Gross. want to know things. Is that so wrong? Yeah, yeah, I just like information. Be pretty curious. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, hypocrites? What are you gonna, are you gonna hate me? Yes, I'm right! I am. You're a wizard and I'm wrong for wanting to do <laughs> <laughs> oh. I worry well, the you know We're gonna make this guy our wrong. enemy. We're gonna make him our enemy just from being like kinda icy with him and he's gonna like turn on us like, You never accepted me! I was always just here to help you! <laughs> oh no. All right. Problem you, for future us. You have right now, we have the SP's grammar spot. Well, yeah, we're getting you two are forgetting to say goodbye to somebody. Silas so saying to Comet and Flotsam. Hmm? Melody. There you go. I'll, um, I, I think I maybe will have. I guess it's tell Melody what, what it is that we're doing. 
Oh, there they are. I was like, I couldn't see them on the map. Oh, (laughs) Melody knows. I've been screaming about the mines for like an hour. (laughs) Several people have been like, shut up, it's eight in the freaking morning! Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we could say bye to Melody. If we see them. Yeah, they seem to be chilling with the other children, just laughing about something, (laughs) vibrating in place again. Oh no! Mine will, have, mine will have just been another like 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 we will see you when we return. Hmm. They, they wish you luck and ask permission from you, Comet, to watch over you all, <laughs> as they are worried now oh. that having a permanent eyes on people, people might not like it. Hmm. Well, thank you for asking. Um, I think I think we'd be okay with that. Uh, for. Are they shouting? Um, it's nice to know that we have somebody else watching over us. Uh, he looks a little happy that you've given them permission to spy. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, make sure everything else goes... Make sure the people here are safe as well. Of course. Nothing attacks you. They said so. I'm hoping, <laughs> uh, but we'll 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 be back. Uh, so we'll see you on a, on another day. Uh, so goodbye for now. They not smile. I kind of uh, tussle their hair a little bit as I leave. They look shell shocked. <laughs> it's the first time their hair has probably been tussled ever, and they don't know how to respond. <laughs> right. <laughs> Offended. What is oh. this? What just happened. Alright, so you all get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. Pew. Ooh. Took three sessions, but we finally <laughs> left. <laughs> um They'll say you cross through the crossroads. Um Abby doesn't seem to be around there anymore. Uh, whether you want to do anything at the crossroads, that's up to you guys. You can still see the uh, carnage of what the town was. Now kind of this just eerie, lifeless wind blowing from the the hills up there. Mm-hmm. And the silhouette of the church to the south. But you press on back to the abandoned passage. Probably about an hour-ish walk, did we make it? I can't remember. About, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, Who knows the scale? Yeah, I could easily write down just like a a bracket that says it takes this long to get here, but I I don't. But I did not. But I did not. Need to turn. I did not. I did not hurt her. I did not hear her. Let's get y'all into the mine. Um, before the mine. I, before I forget, while the we mine. are walking, um, because Wait, I can do I want to. Oh, can, you, can you hear me? Yep. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, I do want to um, go ahead and give a little bit of song so I can get the inspiring leader. Absolutely, you. everyone, get Everybody. your temp health on. Which one? Eleven? Is it eleven now? No, it's uh is six. It? Or it's ten. It's ten. It's ten. Because it's my level. Yo. And I don't think it's my bard level, it's just my regular level. Plus uh my charisma. Your charisma? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is four. Sweet. Oh, oh, yeah. hot. Ten. Let's get old Silas nope. out of here and drag a new new Silas. Mm-hmm. Get y'all ready. Fresh Silas. Silas. Gotta get more charisma. The one who is uh, yeah. more bicep than charismatic now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been multi-classing and not working my way towards my ability scoring great. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's cool. Been there, done that. Yeah, you, you were there. Uh, you arrive back into the um, passageway that leads through the mountain. It seems to be all kind of secluded off now. Um, Stan seems to have done a lot of work to make this a safe passage kind of blowing up any entries to areas that are redundant now. 
and leaving it to the future people to fix it. So really the only way you have to go is all the way back through or up to the elevator system. That's those, those mythical future people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were saying like these mythical future people created. Oh no no! I was I just... saying I am a full robot. If that's if you're no, wrong, like, where are we well, are that, on the tech tree. <laughs> that's literally like a past person thing, actually. Mm -hmm. If we're getting technical here, but I was just saying that like that's a future me problem. That's oh, a future yeah. whoever problem I was referencing. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Cheeky, how do I flip my token? Uh, you right click that, no, but you get your new one out. And I'm then gone. you can. There mm -hmm. you go. Yeah, are, yeah. I think these are like still the tokens from when you left this place uh, so long ago. Yeah, it was. There you go. Cool. All right. Uh, as you're walking through, you do hear the sound of chains and pulleys kind of rapidly moving, as it doesn't look like the uh, elevator is stationary. Like it looks like it's in use already. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. So press the button. <laughs> All right. Okay. Which one do you press the button? Eventually, it comes down. So it seems like whoever's using it was at the top of the elevator system, and as the uh, thick metal doors kind of open, you see small little Harvey. Oh, <laughs> turn on the elevator as he looks somewhat shocked and flinches as he sees all of you there standing <laughs> in front of him in the darkness. <laughs> he like reaches for something, kind of like a cowboy reaching for a gun. He's like, Whoo. <laughs> oh, he it, clutches it. his chest. He's like, oh my, I'm like just oh. try. <laughs> oh, I... oh, my pillow, <laughs> or whatever gods <laughs> I made in this world. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the gods. Uh, by the sun god. Mm. The it's okay, one. your name is just It's us. <sighs> Hello. Oh my gosh. I did not expect Hi. to see anyone down here. They walk out <laughs> in front of you all. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. I thought you were at some uh, observatory or something. Yeah, it's at the top of the mountain. What's oh. Up? Oh. I thought it was on the on the other oh, side. Yeah. It goes both. Yeah, it goes it goes both. What? Well, technically, it just goes up or down. We're on the middle. So We're not on the bottom down. floor. How have you all been? Right. I've only really talked to Comet and. Melody. I don't have your skull, by the way, Ra. That is going to be hard to drag all the way here. That's okay. Did you clean it? It's clean. And some of my animals okay, are looking I, after I'll it. I'll pick it up later. Okay. No <laughs> one's going to, look. No one's going to haul that thing out of there for no reason. I don't think monsters are going to care about it. Uh, I, will, I will get it at some other point. But knowing it's clean... That's good. Thank, uh, thank you. He kind of like holds up a finger and looks a bit nervous. It's like, ah, uh, it might be a little hard. There are new residents in your old town, and they're very mean. Oh. Oh, are yeah? Cute? Are these undead residents? Uh, he shakes his head. No, well, yeah. they might have died, but they're, they're bandits and brigands. They came from. They had to be kicked out. They came from the, uh, the forest <laughs> shortly after you guys left. Uh, were those the bandits we okay. did? They're the ones you stole the boat off. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they seem I to see. be probably pissed that they don't have a boat anymore and are looking for the people who stole oh. their boat. Oh no, they went from ocean bandits to land pirates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, is a, what is a bandit but a land pirate? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, Flotsam stole a boat from zombies. Well, Not living people. 
They weren't if full I recall, zombies. They, they got some semblance about them. They had some manner of undeath, but of course, um, like some of the undead we have seen, a little bit more peculiar, had some more semblance of life to them. Do when we when we get what we need from here, do we want to make a detour back to the town and finish <laughs> up what we started? Hmm. I wonder if they found the boat. Probably not. I mean, if they're, <laughs> if they're if it's just taking up residence in the town, then it won't matter. Mm-hmm. I just want my skull. <laughs> We can get your skull. Um, I don't know if there'll be a problem, though. We might be able to kind of get it and get out. There's no reason why this should be a problem. I don't think they'll be hostile. Yeah, you guys have, like, killed Run. terrible beasts. <laughs> a bunch of half-brained brigands shouldn't be too much of a problem. Perhaps we should set back to our current focus of obtaining the materials required to upgrade our weaponry. That could help for the mm-hmm. for any sort of battle that we have in the including the including a rematch against these pirates. Yeah. I have been curious about what's down there since we crossed here last time. <laughs> yeah, have you been know. down below know. already? He shakes his head. No, I didn't think there was any reason to go down there. You found reason? Uh, we're trying to find some tools to help Haroth. Tools? I guess it wasn't mine. Yeah, help Haroth help us. What was up in the observatory? Why did you need to visit? Uh, he looks like he just gets like a rush of like information coming back to him. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh yeah, I didn't get too far inside. There's more of you up there, though not you. I think they're more. I think they're normal furball. Well, they're a bit. They're a bit deranged. But be careful. There are more comets up there. Yeah, comments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're more of me. Uh, but they're... Yeah, there's claws of you up there. They're angry? <laughs> he nods. Not sure what it doesn't sound like they've that. done up there, but it doesn't look good. Oh. Mm. We check that out after we go down. Mm. That's odd. Oh. Yeah, this is a, cro- a crossroads. What do we want to do first? We need to go down into the mine first. Yep. Yeah. You need to give me time to make maps up there. So don't go up. <laughs> <laughs> the DM. Please don't go up, guys. I swear to God, if you go up, I'll leave. <laughs> I know I just enticed you to go up there, but don't go up there. Don't, do not go up there, man. Yeah, I, I realized as you were saying that, it's like, oh, <laughs> crap, I'm getting I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Whirl- whirlwind is over by the lever that says, and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Um, Did they say anything to you? I did not care to talk to them. I am but one small human. You are all much more stronger than me. If they were bad, they probably would have hurt me badly. They did Mm. not seem like the talkative kind. Okay. Well... So, very much not like Comet, then. No. Only really in the sense of being related by species. Oh, they're the same species! <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I thought... <laughs> Never mind, I, no, I had a different they, idea. They are different. They are more... They kind of hunch over a bit more. They're, they're, they're odd. 
Well, we're not exactly the most normal group travelers that you've met, I'm sure. True. Odd might be not the right word. They seem aggravated and aggressive. But when there we go. That's really sussing out the specifics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna ignore that problem for now and go down. Uh, are you gonna be safe getting back to the town or the the port or whatever? <laughs> they they kind of shrug. Is there anything I should worry about on the way? You got here, we fine. Didn't. No, I mean, it, I don't know. I, I don't know what your capabilities are. You seem pretty good on your own, so I'm just... We didn't see anything on our way here. Hmm. You know, should just in case. It, if you see a large lion woman, run as fast as you can. Toward or away? <laughs> away. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Uh, Silas, is she as fast as you? Nobody says so then, Silas. It's impossible. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, you know what? Let me amend that advice. Harvey, if you see a lion woman, hide. Because you're not gonna outrun her. That's all I do. <laughs> I am very good at hiding. Alright. Well, if when you get there, um, maybe Melody can let us know that you got there safe. Good idea. I'll tell them. Uh, as, as for us, we're gonna head down. Is it? So wait, how do we do that? You pull that lever over <laughs> gestures inside to levers conveniently labeled up and down. <laughs> Real intuitive. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks, Harvey. And uh, hope you get there safe. We'll see you later. I'm gonna smile and nod. It was kind of very pensive and get into the elevator. <coughs> Does Whirlwind go in? Yeah, of course Whirlwind goes in. <laughs> <laughs> Scoot over. Jumps Scoot over, everyone. Of course, time. <laughs> yeah, you scoot it. <laughs> Alright. I assume you pull the weight, lever, then. Kronk. It's the right lever. Was it the wrong lever? Or we no, it's the, right, it's the right one. Oh, I'm stuck. No, that's why it's on most. Let's get the... Which one is it? This... The cutscene button. <laughs> no. You're going into animated a... animated a cutscene for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, it sounds easier than it... You know. Mm. It's a loading screen. Yeah, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm arty enough to be able to do that, surely? Yeah, you could do it. I just... Knowing you, it's like... You do things when the mood strikes you. I, I just yeah. can't imagine you just do that unprompted. <laughs> yeah, right? It's just like, oh, here's a cutscene for some reason. Mm -hmm. Um. Alright. The whirring of mechanical sounds uh, reverberates through this tunnel as you descend further and further into the depths of the earth. Um, <laughs> God damn it, Adelaide. <laughs> Everyone has to look at the meme. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's put on the cave ambience. Cave music. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got, got an FS, God damn it. Alright. That's cave well, yeah. I don't want just like ambient cave music. I'd rather have like soundtracky music. Melodic music, yeah. Yeah. I know that that's a good topic for people. Do you prefer ooh, ambience ooh, got, or cool I got, music? I got some cave music. Absolutely, if you got cave music um, you wanna throw on, go ahead. Yeah, it's like my favorite cave music. As long as you <laughs> know it's absolutely positively not copyright. Yeah, copyright. <laughs> Um, 
<laughs> if it's video game music, usually it's fine. Game music is fine? Usually, yeah. Usually. And if not, I'll just right, I'll... say next time, let's not use this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try for it. Hope, let's hope for the best. Yeah. Mm. Hope we don't get muted. Yeah, that's, that's good cave music. Oh, is this Zelda? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Cat. Uh, let's have a look. Alright, we're just setting up stuff. Uh, yeah, if you FS, just skip us to it. <gasps> you the cat. Cat. <gasps> Yo! Peach! <laughs> Finally, dude! Got our peach. stinky rotten peach over here. No. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, eventually, Jeez, the cage lands at the bottom of this elevator, and the doors open, and you seem to be in a small little alcove dug into a wall. And uh, as, as you step out, you see that you are on top of this very slim, very long walkway above basically just emptiness. There's uh, <laughs> below you just a lot of down, a lot of uh, falling if you were to fall off of this walkway that leads to this elevator. Uh, um, let me drag you over. I hope that all my stuff is right and I'm not going to reveal the whole map. <laughs> I think it's good. What's that? Lord, hey, you know what? Oh, this... What's the harm in just revealing all your secrets at once to us? Yeah, right. <laughs> we're not gonna let a game. I'm we're on. not purple worm. We're totally gonna walk over there anyway. <laughs> we won't uncover the maze. You seem to be in a very large walkway that leads to the other side of this wall, which you assume is. Where you want to go, there's like another large alcove dug into the other side. Uh, looking down, if you dare, you see that there seems to be like a large glowing lake or some sort. You can hear water distantly. This kind of north pool of glowingness in the distance. Mm. As well as the kind of silhouette of a, a town or village, maybe, down at the very bottom of the wall that you're kind of heading to. So you can see like the lights of houses far down below at the bottom of this underground ravine. Whoa. This place is huge. Uh, your comment echoes through the cavern. <laughs> huge. 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 Uh, I believe in the papers that we found um, this is like all expansive caves and networks where there's like people that live down here so um these are probably those traders that kind of made their home here uh do they speak regular language common mm. or do they have their own language does anybody know if i mean if we... history maybe i can share but Good history. Yeah. Works good. If you think you know about oh. the Underdark and its lingo and stuff, then absolutely. Mm. But if you do not think your character would, then yeah. Roll, roll me history probably read. See. I read a lot of books. Yeah, you do read a <laughs> lot of books. <laughs> Pretty good. Also, I'm just gonna mage armor real quick. Smart. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> <laughs> well. Like, I thought we were gonna go and be friendly. Yeah, no, totally friendly mage arm together, <laughs> giant ass mage. Yeah, just we're friends. Uh, Helen, you kind of remember back to, like, your, your teacher who taught you the way of the blade mentioning something about underground stuff, but you were more interested in doing spinny sword stuff and <laughs> don't really remember too much of what they were saying. Yeah, I remember Paleo going. 
So remember. Wah, 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 wah. And I'm like, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> oh, um, you were learning about the underdog. I studied the blade. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but Adelaide, yeah, you do know that the underdark or underground has its own under common language, but most people do still speak common, even if they speak other languages. You feel like if you were to come into a town that someone there is bound to speak common. Yeah, especially if they're trading with... Yeah, especially uh, trading. Yeah. yeah. Like I do have comprehend languages, though, in a pinch, so... Hmm. Cool. Um, as you're walking and gazing into the abyss or keeping your eyes steadily forward, not wanting to accept that length below you, uh, you do hear echoing through kind of the top caverns and kind of bouncing off all the stalactites on the roof. Uh, this kind of dreary moan that kind of parallaxes through the air as if something's moving and moaning. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'll, like tap Adelaide on the shoulder um, and then with like a finger tap Silas in the back with my hand um, and kind of give them the 300 uh, feet dark vision <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah roll me a perception as you're all walking across here let's see if you can spot any of these Moaning sources. You know, if, you, if your source moans, really that's bad. The, uh, <laughs> what? You all know about the Mandela effect, right? You've, you've heard that concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dark vision doesn't let you see clearly or perfectly in the dark. It makes you see in the dark as if it were dim light, which yeah. is still a partial obscurity. So you still have like disadvantage and stuff. <laughs> So like dark vision doesn't actually make things clearer, and so like that's great, but also it means that like you're not as capable as I thought. Well, I think the thing is like that's how it's always been written. It's just usually people are like dark vision, you can see in the dark, right? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. The Mandela effect mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. It's like I always thought of dark vision on every single racial ability, and I'm just like my eyes are bugging out of my head because it says dim light, and I'm like, what? <laughs> how did I not know this? Yeah. Yeah, earlier editions were a lot more specific. It was like you literally have ultraviolet vision. Like dwarves, I think, have thermal vision. <laughs> like they can literally just see everything in predator vision. It's awesome. What's your roll though? 18s? They're the best. Um, You do no. see things kind of swooping around above. Just these silhouettes of something kind of above. Mm. What do you think those are? I said Adelaide. I I don't know, but we can if we if we don't bother them, we'll, we'll probably be fine. As you say that, uh, <laughs> hell yeah! Decide to bother us. Unbothered. Since you yeah. are so far ahead, let's have a look at what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm I'm the I'm ahead of everybody else, head of the pack, top of my head class. Of the boys. Just see what, what did you need from me? Off. Um, nothing other than like uh, uh, to react to what I'm about to do. Uh, oh, I have to, ch I have to check if it's like a save or something. But <laughs> nothing, just a new character. <laughs> yeah, here's your new character sheet. Um. Uh. Yeah, you're you're not aware of this sword is a sneak attack. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> what is your AC currently? It is sixteen. Sixteen, okay. Uh so as you're all kind of I'm being pointing up at the ceiling, like what do you, what do you reckon all that is? Uh, you see a, a shroud kind of fall on top uh, of Ra. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you take 12 points of piercing damage, firstly, as you feel something kind of 
fall on top of you and a lot of little spiky things bite into you. Um, and if you are large or smaller, this thing is now attached to you. Okay. Mm. But, but is it another it, cloaker? It, well, another one? Like, what? <laughs> this is yeah, the only we one. these before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did? Yeah, yeah in the... Or when we were in the troglodyte area, there was cloakers in there. No, those were, those were like dark mantles. They were those were yeah, like dark those are baby yeah. cloakers. Excuse me, I got a little bit messed up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I haven't put these boys in there. I just made their character sheet. Uh, as yeah. you see, well, I guess you don't see anymore, Helen. You are blinded right now. <laughs> As on top of them, you can kind of see there's kind of like one of these attached around Ra, but there are like many more shimmering illusory versions of these also kind of huddling around. It looks like there's like four of these things all stacked oh on top God. of Ra at the same time. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm pretty sure we can roll initiative. <laughs> Well, okay. I mean, what if they just want to talk? <laughs> <Yeah>. so. Hello. <laughs> um, I will give. Bet you wish your hair was fire now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will give Silas advantage on initiative. Advantage. Uh, Although I think I think he might already have it. Uh, Potential. I don't think not yet. Let me double check. All right, and Viridian. i make sure they're around. Yeah. Um, descending. Watson, you are ready and raring to go. Someone just fell on your body all here? Nah, not having it. Um, yeah. so they're just all, all, is it, I, I'm confused. Is there four, three of them? Um, it looks like there are four all kind of huddled around on top of Ra right now. Uh... I don't really want to hurt Ra, but I think that Ra can take at least some damage, and I don't want to miss... I'm going to cast Burning Hands. Okay. Um... And I'll cast it at third... Oh. Can I not cast it at a different level? Uh, Is it an attack? You can card? roll me two more d6, I suppose. Um, I may have like messed. I just want to make sure that there's. Right. Hold on. Higher level cast damage. What is? Is it with an additional d? Is it additional d6 each? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh. Sorry, I don't. I don't mean to. No, that's all good. Hold up, hold everything up. I think maybe. Well, what the no, heck you're is good, going you're good. on? I don't know why it's not doing the. It's not asking thing. for like the. Do you want to upcast? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hitting the upcast button, but mm. not. See, you. it's not seeming to do it. Um, but that is okay. Uh, what I will do is I will. So you, let me just roll. Yep. Um, is it slash R one D six? Yep. Yeah. Slash R. So so that'd be seventeen total. Is Burning Hands uh, second level or first level? Burning Hands is for a first level spell, but I'm cast I want to cast at second level. At second level. Okay, yeah then. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, you uh yeah. brandish your hand oh no, you like do the whole mouth sigil thing. Mm -hmm. Copying your semi mentor, and you patron now. Breathe forth, yeah, patron, yeah, technically. <laughs> By all I'm technicality, also... I am your patron. <laughs> um, you. So I, I think I can get flames. On... However uh, many I can get. On yeah, the as you shoot forth your flames, the light from it seems to disperse the ones that are kind of shimmering around 
Mm. Uh, revealing just the one attached to Ra. Uh, oh. So it seems the light of your thing has gotten rid of all the all the fakes, the non-believers. <laughs> um, but this creature does have damage transference. Well, attach the creature only Ooh. takes half the damage, and the other takes the other half. So they have to roll their save first. Thank you. Uh, Dex save. They rolled a twenty-one, so they're going to half it anyway. To was it seventeen? I was seventeen. Yeah. All right. So then, do I have to? Do I have to roll a save? Um. Yeah, I think you'd have to be in the cone no matter what. So, yeah, roll with disadvantage since you're blinded, yeah. I think. Sure. It is fire damage, but... It is, mm -hmm. it is fire damage. So I think 16 beat your DP. Oh, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. All right. My spell save. Cool. So you take... <laughs> let's call it eight. Eight halved. So you take four. They okay. also take four, but then they half it... No, but they take eight. Then they half it between you. So you take four half to two. And then another two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> yeah, man. It, uh, it uh, kind of scort like it kind of screeches on top of right. You hear just vibrations in your head as this thing glares at you, Flotsam, very angry <laughs> that you've just torched it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I want to do. Uh, I don't really want to use my bardic thing right now, so I'll end my turn. All right. Uh, Comet, as you're getting ready to go, uh, you <laughs> feel a rush of wind swooping by. Whoa. Uh-oh. As just imagine Comet doing the uh, Marilyn Monroe thing with the skirt, like ah, with the snapper. <laughs> <laughs> as let's see, there are four of you. Oh, Comet! Oh, no. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> hey, look at that! Um, since you kind of saw these, you are kind of ready, so the surprise doesn't take effect. But one or four is going to try and land on your head. Let's put them okay. here so it's more easy to see everything. There. Token. Um, so they're going to try and munch onto your head. Uh, oh. What is your AC? 18. 18. Sadly, just met you. Woo. Do you I don't get like a dex throw? Or? Uh, no, they're, they're directly trying to attack you. Okay. Uh, ah. it, it lands on you. Dealing 10 points of piercing damage, and it is latched onto your head. You are blinded while this is on your head. Uh, right. You can, on your turn, attempt to take an action to get it off your head, but... <laughs> right. uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, and as it does that, it is going to flick a tail around and attempt to <laughs> slap Adelaide with a tail slap. <laughs> Whipping it out. Your AC is what with your mage armor on, Adelaide? 15. How much? 15. 15. I just heard teen. Ooh, yeah, um, I just heard mean. Uh, mean? <laughs> well, also. Mean. My AC is real mean. You don't want to mess with it. <laughs> it just breaks through your armor, dealing mm. eight points of slashing damage. Uh, scratching up oh, your arm. Oh, my bones. <laughs> it's your right in the barns. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Yep, one bite, one tail. Yep, come it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna reach for... I think I recognize these creatures, so I'm gonna go and, like, try to open my book, and, um... From my book, cast daylight. Oof! All right, Ooh. big Let's play. Draw all the attention to us. <laughs> right? Yeah. Everybody's gonna know we're here. <laughs> yeah, sixty. So a sixty-foot radi radius. 
Fear of light. Absolutely, that's yeah. That's awesome. Bright light sheds dim light. Wow. Additional things. Choose a pointed object you're holding, or one that isn't below. So I'm like choosing my book. Okay. Boom, uh, boom. The illusionary ones blast away, and these things screech in pain as daylight is being <laughs> blasted in their eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't like it. <laughs> they don't like it. Sweet. Um, um, wow, that's not concentration either. Holy yeah. moly. It's a save as well, isn't it? Is there anything else? Well, I think it's just happened. They don't, it's not really hurting it's them. Just it's just creating, right, yeah. So it's yeah. definitely activating their light sensitivity if they have it. Mm -hmm. not that if they, they would have it, I'm, they, not, they, I'm not telling you. If these underdog <laughs> creatures have light sensitivity, then it's obviously been, right. yeah, you know, like, If at all. Um... Setting so, off the firework, telling everyone that we're here. Yeah, <laughs> why not? They <laughs> already know we are. Well, we we got attacked. Yeah, uh, um, that's your action. What else are we gonna do? Well, that is an action. Daylight. Oh well, yeah. Um, so bonus action. I think can uh, does try to like pry them off. Take an action. Uh yes, it's an action. Okay. To remove. If that's the case, then I am going to. I guess I can healing word. Why well, I can't see her. You can uh, healing word yourself, I would say. <laughs> uh, I don't. I actually do. I need it. Let's see, because I thought I took only ten for the temporary. Yeah, uh, yeah, my, yeah. It, just took your temporary, temporary. So I'm good right now. Uh, I mean, I guess I could summon spiritual weapon. I can't see. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> summon it in your hand. Uh, well, you can't see your hand. Like, yeah, I can't see my hand, and I can't like attack. Really? Because I think I need to see what I'm attacking. Yeah, it has to be like, a point think range you, so you can see. You should be able to create it, but you don't really get full control over where it appears, I feel like. Because, like, if you... You're not targeting something when you make the weapon, right? Well, it's so, visual and somatic. That's verbal. It says. Oh, verbal, you're verbal. right. There's no visual. Yeah, but I think it does say it. you create the blade in an area you can see within 20 feet. And even then, I think you have to see the creature to command it to attack. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But just making the weapon, you have to see yeah, where, like, I mean, if you just want to have your can't... weapon out and floating around oh. doing nothing, yeah. <laughs> save your just bonus action it. later, I suppose. I mean, the thing is, it just, it's so um, I can, It's fine. That, that, I, I'm making daylight so that they don't make darkness. Um, and then that is all I'll do. All right. <laughs> That's my turn. Mm -hmm. Uh... Viridian's gonna do a classic Viridian and run and jump on top of it. Oh no. <laughs> he's out! <laughs> he jumped yeah, on he's the edge. There's no there's no sight requirement on spiritual weapon. There's no sight. You can just take it and have it attack whatever you want. No, cool. Within range? Oh yeah, it is just within range. So you wanna bring him out? All out. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna take half damage if I do that anyway, because I'm trying to figure out how to do that. But yeah, I'll I'll do that. I'll summon the little firefly Ooh. in the middle of all this bright light. <laughs> yeah, and I guess to kind of circumnavigate that, I'll have it attack like the one on my head. All right, <laughs> bonk. You get a little yeah, bit so out. Just... Oh, Buzz okay, him cool. up. You already got it. Thank you. Let me zoom in <laughs> for viewers. Buzz him up. Spiritual weapon. Go. That's a miss! That's a miss! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Viridian, uh, not wanting to uh, stab into you, is going to reach down and try and pry this dude off of your head for you. Um, Sweet. And they're going to be mad where they do it. Uh, Make them perfect. mad. Yes. <laughs> uh... Athletics. Oh, they got a plus eleven. No, they're not gonna rage. I'm not gonna rage for them. <laughs> yeah, nineteen. Yeah, they did. It. Mm. Uh, they jam their <laughs> fingers under its like <laughs> mouth that's got its teeth into you, and you feel it being pried up as he's just holding mm -hmm. it above you by yeah. the mouth. <laughs> um, so I think that's all. Unless the action search. So right now they're just. That's, that's what they do. They okay, unblinded they, they you. Them. Sweet. Uh, Helene. 
All right. It has me grappled, or is it just attached to me? Can I still it is move attached. around, or what's up? I'm pretty that? sure you can move freely. It's just on you. I'm not sure. Do if I it know specifies what anything else. this thing is? Uh, roll me a nature or survival, perhaps. Uh, yeah, I have no clue. Oof. All right. There's a thing. You Make a head. meal of me, will you? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna activate the blade song. I'm gonna start spinning around. <laughs> yeah, makes like the Sonic then, speed uh, sound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The little ball sound. And then, uh. Huh. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, instead, I'm going to use my action to, uh, attack this thing. Uh, with my sword. You are blind, um, which means you automatically fail anything that relies on sight, disadvantage on attack rolls, and attacks I'm gonna, have advantage. I'm going to burning hands from my mouth. Just <laughs> <'cause it's laughs> <All right. laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So it needs to make another deck save. Alrighty. Um, it's going to breathe up into it, and you're just going to like blimp away. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it rolled a 15. What? Oh, Sweet. What's your Wait, right. save oh, DC? I should roll the damn. Yeah, my bad. Hold up. Uh, Is your save 16? I'm just like that. That just took care of the problem, right? And... What's your saving throw, Shane? Um, I said it was 15, so they made it. Oh, oh okay, so... Uh, damage, damage is 7, it's really not. It, uh, it growls Very as, like, out. flames shoot out of its teeth. Grrr. That's it. Uh, if you do attempt to move with it on your head, you will have to roll a d3 in the direction you're attempting to run, because you just well might I... not go the way you want to run. I'm not moving. I'm oh, no, just that. in case anyone wants to move. Silas! Thank you, yes, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> you said that with so much like j just joy. Hey, <laughs> you, you get to test out your new boy, you know? You're... Mm -hmm. Okay, that's... So... Oh. <laughs> that's there now. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the daylight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well... Seeing that something is attacking uh, my protector, I am going to rage. Okay, you're so pissed. my first rage ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell, uh, just go Viridian, pitch it, and I'm gonna pull the sword out. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, they get ready to pitch it? I suppose. And then I'll just. Uh, bat at it with uh, the greatsword recklessly. Uh, a footloose attack, let's go. Mm -hmm. So 21. <laughs> yeah, that'll get him. Oh. That's 9. And then I get my Divine Fury. Damn. So, Yo. 19 damage. 19 damage. Alright, no one else is blinded by daylight, right? You guys don't have to make anything for this? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. The daylight, it just makes, like, okay, light. Yeah. It doesn't so blind isn't, like, anybody. a blinding thing? Alright, uh, yeah. It, yeah, it counts as daylight, so a lot of stuff like vampires would be affected yeah. by this. Uh, any vulnerabilities, immunities? Nope, you're just busting into this dude, man. Mm -hmm. Out of context, then, that's bad, but... <laughs> Second attack. Alright. <laughs> bam. Ooh. That'll get him as well. 14. Yoch. It screeches as you cut into it twice as it's being beybladed through the air. <laughs> and lands on the ground scuttling, screeching, not happy. Uh. Or she wrote for Silas? Uh. Yeah. Alright. Adelaide. This is uh, not the best time for Adelaide. 
No, it's been tossed off at this point. It's kind of ah, hanging gotcha. on the edge. You were saying? It's not, this isn't a great situation for you, definitely being in situations like this, but, you know, these aren't the same kind of things that you uh, don't like, so... <laughs> could be worse. It's not exactly great, either. Yeah, it's not the uh... best, you know, but... You seem to be handling it from the last yeah. attack's efforts. At least you can see that. At least you can see <laughs> Um, I want to make I want to make it dead. I want to cast right. chromatic orb at the one that got knocked off comet. All righty, go roll them up. I cast make it die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a fourteen. Uh, do it dead now. I hate to say it, Ali, but that just hits. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what type are we choosing? Force damage. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, magic Ooh. softball. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mario and Luigi now. That's, that's, <laughs> it. <laughs> that's Mario. <laughs> this is the <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Shut up, fell, it's happening! It's happening! <laughs> <laughs> um, is that all you're gonna do, Adelaide? You do. You're not in range of it, so you can skedaddle around should you choose to. Uh, I mean, there's not really anywhere to go. Moving yeah. elsewhere would just make me more surrounded. <laughs> I think you're good where you are. You are behind yeah. Comet, so yeah, they have a big shield. Yeah, I don't have any bonus action stuff, so that is my turn. Alrighty. Oh, how, oh, how does this, how does it look, by the way? Uh, it is definitely bloodied. This thing is looking hurt. This thing's not looking happy. That you know, thought it was gonna get a quick munch. Got two slashes and you know, <laughs> force grenade thrown at its face. Um, the other one is going to munch down hard. It has advantage, but because it's blinded by light sensitivity, it's just a normal Ugh. roll. Yo. Uh, that one. Rolling a 16, I think it's your blade dancing now. Somehow, you... <laughs> I'm, I'm spinning, I'm using the momentum of my spin to, like, make it. <laughs> 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 Throwing it off balance. Um, it is mm. going to... Yeah. Attempt to drag you. Uh, so roll <clears throat> me a strength uh, or athletics saving, like strength saving throw or athletics. Wait, a strength save or an athletics check? Well, either, whichever's higher, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, definitely. Wait, can I use acrobatics? Absolutely not. <laughs> that was a nineteen, bud. Am that I is good or am I easily dead? good. You feel this thing start to drag mm -hmm. you, and you just mountain stance. You just <laughs> you, you embed oh, yeah. yourself okay. into this ground. You are fine. <laughs> you trained with an earth like, once. It's like trying to drag me away, and I'm like, no, no, no. You yeah. you jumped onto me. We're in this <laughs> now. I'll get back here. All right. Um, it's gonna keep keep munching. What's up? Uh, I am going to, I, I think I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast mm -hmm. on the one on Hellion. You're All right. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Internet Explorer motherfucker over here. <laughs> that <laughs> definitely hits. Go. Oh, let's go. The nine the half, so you both take four damage. It'll take the five. Splitting the damage between the two of you. And it's not coming off, is it? No, it looks like it's going to have to be pried off or it's going to have to leave at its own volition or die. Yeah. I'll still... I'll still attack it. Second one? Second. Oh, yeah. Sadly, flies off. Mm. Hitting a rock. Yeah. Hitting, a, hitting a stalactite. Whoever's down below is in for a surprise. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I don't really feel... How's everyone doing on health? Uh, the Hellion, how are you doing on 
I've taken eight damage. My attempt hit points were soaked up mostly. Oh, okay. So I'm, awesome. I'm eight below max. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just end my turn there. I don't really feel the need to use like a bar inspiration or anything like that. So, um, you know what? Actually, I'll, I'll add a bardic inspiration to the. Uh huh. For my for my bonus. You are inspired. Ra, you hear Raw. the sound of your buddy out there? They haven't left you. They're they're right there. Just muffled. Yeah, just mm -hmm. just a little muffled. They'll get better. I hear the oh. muffled cries of encouragement. <laughs> yeah. Ability check, attack roll, or saving throw, and it is a D eight at this point. D eight, damn. D eight. Yeah. You really use it because your other effect is so much more powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Uh, the other cloaker is going to mm -hmm. attempt to pounce at Silas, trying to bite at you, though with normal, since you reckless and it's being sensitivityed. Mm -hmm. uh, rolling an 18. Ah, oh, that just beats. Just gets ya. Mm -hmm. Yoch. It munchens and crunchens. Nine piercing damage, so half to two, four, round down. And it is attached. Dang. I'm just wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hat. And mm -hmm. it is going to try and even hurt. whip its tail around and clock Comet right in the chest with it. <clears throat> Rolling a 17. That's a miss. Ooh, yeah, you bash at its tail with your shield. <laughs> Catch the tail. What Don't do you do boyfriend. with said tail? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to pull it off, like the the dark battle off of Silas. Uh, <laughs> mm. You know, you know, tear him off. Yeah, I'm trying, with the tail. I'm gonna like yank him off. All right, roll roll an, uh, a strength uh, athletics check. Yep. Do I? I don't think I have advantage. No. Okay. Oof. Well, that's an 11. <laughs> yeah, sadly, it, it, it bites on and wraps around Silas. It does not want to let go. It does cry out in a bit of pain as you yank <laughs> on its tail, though. <laughs> get, get off! <laughs> um, if you are... Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah. I was trying to see if I can do that. Um, Is that... That's not an attack action, right? That is just a uh, just an action. So it takes up okay. all your multis and stuff. You do have your still and your little dude out. Mm, should you want dang. to? Uh, well, it's on Silas, so I don't know if I want to. I think I'm I'm gonna try to attack it with the little B mm -hmm. with my uh, firefly. Not the bees. Yeah. Not the bees. Does a 16 hit? That does indeed. Halving it to... Uh, it'll take three. Silas, you'll take two. As it splits the damage between the two of you. So the Silas takes one. <laughs> well, it's force. I don't think you're resistant to force, are you? Oh, it is force. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't great, but That's something. Still That's my turn. Two now. Yeah, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Viridian <laughs> will kind of sigh as he was about to pull out his weapons <laughs> and run up and Attempt to pull it off your head again. Oh yeah, they, they grab it Ooh. and and they and they hold it by the face. Um, by the face. <laughs> yeah, he, he, they will action surge and try and toss it up in the air a bit and attempt to slash at him with his two rapiers. Um. How's he got all this set up? Let's do this one first. Ooh. That bounces it for 15. And then his offhand, does he have dual? Yeah, he has all that. So yeah, it's just the, the offhand rapier. Without the sneak attack. I said without the sneak attack. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, yeah, listen. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Uh, it screeches in pain, not looking good. It's looking like it's want to flee now. It wants to get the hell out of here. It 
you know, bit off more than they could chew, and it's mm. shorn on iron. Literally. Uh, Hellion. Um. Let's see. I to escape the attached whatever this how this thing is attached to me. Ooh. You cut out. It is an well, athletics check. An athletics check. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But it takes your whole action. Yeah, it takes the action. You get you get the you could use the one d eight on. You do also have your body inspiration. Oh. Whatever you want to do. How high was the ceiling? I had sixty feet of dark vision. Did I see the ceiling? Pretty high. Uh, you didn't see the the direct ceiling. You saw some stalactites that were hanging from the ceiling, but you're not sure how higher up it went. You probably can't jump to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Read my mind. Come on. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll do the boring thing and I'll uh, attack it twice. All right, just gonna reverse your skimmies and <laughs> attempt to hit it. <laughs> yeah. So two attacks with uh, disadvantage, I suppose, since you're blind. Sure thing. Eighteen. Absolutely, both hit. Sixteen hit. Yep. Yeah! Nine on the first, six on the second. Alright, uh, so it will take five from the first, you take four. And you both take three from the second hit. Every hit, it seems to dig its teeth in and you get some of the damage. Somehow it transfers <laughs> all damage split, <laughs> like... Even psychic, I guess. I, don't, I wouldn't even know how that works. Mm. It whispers something to me. Crazy ability. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, but a grouse does not seem to want to let go. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm just going to stab my sword down into this thing. All right. Try to end him. Mm. Recklessly. All right. Well, yeah, it, yeah. it's dead. Jeez. It's that a loud <laughs> screech as it uh, <laughs> deflates and... Mario! <laughs> what a world! What a world! <laughs> and as I rip the sword out, I'll uh, rush over to Ra and... Uh, hmm. I've already used half of my action to be an attack action. Sadly, yeah, it's either another attack or... Grapple it off. Mm. Grapple attack it off. Technically not. You could grapple it and stop it from (laughs) potentially dragging Ra off if it tries to Mm -hmm. again. Hmm. I'm just gonna bop it and then say sorry. It's easier (laughs) to uh, say you're sorry. So, bonk. It's easy to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's uh, 15 damage halved to uh, freaking seven damage each. This ability does say round down, so I could have been round downing. But that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> that all we do? All righty. Adelaide. Uh. Mm-hmm. Probably just gonna throw a firebolt there, uh, and and say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do take half damage, right? That's so out of, yeah. out of all dim, out, out of all damage, that's definitely the the mm-hmm. kindest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that Adelaide could. Is good enough at athletics <laughs> You're right. to go over there and like pry it off a raw. So yeah, that's why I me as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I'll cast firebolt. Alrighty. That'll hit and that'll hurt. Five damage each, but 
two damage to you, Ra. It's still growling. <laughs> <laughs> it's still mad. Yeah. Ah, uh, you can move around turn. should you want. No, this st oh, this still seems still like a, a pretty spot. safe place. Yeah. No, uh, that's not that's not a challenge for you to prove me wrong. No, 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 I'm good. Uh, Cloaker <laughs> is going to munchins and crunchins, biting down with uh, disadvantage, advantage, so just normal. Rolling a nine, you somehow, as it tries to bite, just wiggle around to make it a lot harder to get a good bite in. Uh, as you hear you it kind of sighing anger as it uh, braces against oh, you. Whoops. <laughs> do, do not Ignore produce that. flame! <laughs> Comet, do not! <laughs> no way! Back in your seat! My As bad. I was trying to read it. <laughs> it is going to let go of your head and try oh. and jump off of you, uh, slashing at you with its tail as it does so. Um, Attack of opportunity? Absolutely. It rolls a 21 <laughs> to hit you with its tail, though. Oh, uh... Oh, you look so yeah, shocked. That's your, your thing froze and you look up. so shocked. <laughs> uh, you take 10 points of slashing as it uh, disconnects from you. So uh, Silas, Hellion, and Flotsam, I'll give it to you. You're, you'll be close enough should you want to slap it through hands, I sure. guess. I don't know. Oh, I get an attack of opportunity too? Sure. A bardic inspiration. I know whether or not this <laughs> succeeds. Alright, that'll what? hit it. Mm -hmm. That'll hit it. That'll definitely hit it. <laughs> All right. I forgot how much I loved Barbarian. Uh, so much. Fun. Fifteen. <laughs> just jumps off. Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-six. Yelch. As it attempts to leave, you carve a couple of uh, going away presents into its hide, but it <laughs> seems to uh, fly up about. 30 feet above you as it seems to just hover above over here. Didn't have enough movement to really get away. I mean, it, it just gets out of the blind. It, it wants to get out of the range of the sun. It's it's it's, it's backing <laughs> up out of it. It's screaming. <laughs> um, for those of you watching, the aura of sunlight goes to that point. I think yeah. only me and you can see it, Comet, but uh -huh. oh, okay. it's big. <laughs> for, for clean battlefield's sake, I think that's fine. Yeah. Um, Flotsam, as you are getting ready to deal with this thing in the sky, you see three figures approaching from the other end of the walkway. Mm -hmm. um, let me find them. Let me grab uh, them. NPCs? <gasps> grab. Let me let no. me grab upon <laughs> three mama mantles. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you, <laughs> Princess what Peach? What did you say yeah, about no, the adventures? Uh, you see three uh, cloaked and masked individuals that are definitely not drow. Don't read their names. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? <laughs> uh, they uh, seem to run up out of the shadows and the one in front seems to turn to the other ones and command them so they go and the other they're two are doing that yeah they're, they're doing that <laughs> did you say something yeah. did you uh, did no it was unintelligible you... like shouting in masked I, there, there are probably like subtitles I would like, I would like to cast a, a spell I learned recently right now um yeah is it, a, is it a reaction? No, I, is this like, are we still in combat? Oh yeah, I mean, the thing's it, still alive. Yeah. It, it's yeah. still yeah. there. It's still up and running. Never mind then, sorry. Uh, the two flanking the one who has told them to do something uh, brandish their left arm as you hear like mechanisms go off and uh, the whirring of something shooting through the air as uh, they're attempting to uh, grapple on this thing with some kind of wrist-mounted mechanisms. Um, they got a grappling hook. Yeah, they got they got wrist grapple Ooh. hooks. <laughs> um, Spider Man. Spider Man. Oh Drow Spider Man. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Um, I'm sorry. All their names are just Drew. They're not Drow. Yeah, Drew. <laughs> 
Um, Let's roll a dick save for this fella. Um, uh, one of them seems to miss and kind of just fall down and the dude starts like wrapping it back up like a measuring <laughs> tape. <laughs> uh, but the other one seems to wrap around it a few times and they start to all kind of help that one person bind it almost to stop it from getting away. Uh, but it is your turn, Flotsam. Hmm. How damaged does the thing look? Very. It, it looks like it is damaged enough that its flight senses are kicking in and it wants to get out of here. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I will. I guess I'll just try to hit it with some. Uh. Actually, I'll just try. Like, I'll just try and shoot it. All right, just go for a shot. Oh, yeah. God. Gun in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> it hits. It's rather loud, but echoes rather nicely. It's definitely just echoes for a couple of miles. That thing goes. 11 damage. It screeches out, still barely alive. One of its things still kind of wibble wobbling to keep it in flight. <laughs> wiggle wobbling? Yeah, it doesn't really necessarily flap. It's, they're more like manta rays where they kind of just gyrate it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, use my bonus action. Alright. On ugh, bad roll, but uh, on the Hellion. Alright, so five for Ra. Uh, other cloaker is done. Come on. Hmm. I'm gonna have my uh, firefly like land on my shoulder mm. and then walk this way wait no walk <laughs> up to here basically oh no you blind him gets really <laughs> angry as the sun hits walk, it in the face again yeah walk into it um and then I think I'm gonna cast uh is that but then the other one is a me thing I'm gonna cast sacred flame all right, gonna make a deck I'm save for him. The boy, yeah. They roll a six. Whoo! They gotta be the fitting, so that's not good. Oh, you better say now fifty. I was like, what? <laughs> seven, seven radiant. Seven radiant. All right, you kind of snap your fingers, and this little jet of starlight shoots out at it, and uh, clocks yeah. it right in the face, and it. Uh, gives way to the tension of the rope being pulled at it and slumps to the ground. Wow, Oof. fud. There's all the dirt kind of puffs up around it. Are we still in combat? Absolutely not. The, the cloak figures come and attack. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I, the, I uh... have something I would... <laughs> Shut up. Were you going to cast something, <laughs> uh, Ra? Uh, what nah, it's mean? fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But, um, this, I guess I'll, is anyone else going to address the, the group? Uh, I mean, if you wanted to go, go ahead. Well, I wanted to see if they spoke common. Uh, I guess I'll stand by the Hellion and say, hello there. <laughs> yeah. hello there. Uh, they look to each other for a moment as two of them kind of look at one and that, that, one kind of slumps and like rolls his eyes or you can't see his eyes but they seem to roll their eyes <laughs> as they are probably the only one who speaks common <laughs> and uh they hop over kind of walking over the felled beast as the other two seem to pull out like these kind of nifty looking cleavers and start cutting them up oh. they're already they're already harvesting and, and the one approaching you takes off this uh, strange uh, mask contraption. It looks like it's like filtered, probably for mm. some underdark business. But you do see that this person, at least, is in fact a drow. <gasps> As I Drew? Get, get rid of their other token. They walk up, holding their like hat and mask under their arm. It's like, well, good day then. <laughs> oh my god, god they're, they're from down under because yeah, they're from the land down under they have to be australian 
<laughs> How long have you been waiting? Uh, my entire DMing career. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. The minute you found out about the Oh, yeah. Like, I will make this happen. Uh, yes. The individual holds out their hand. So, we'll get a then I'm Riley. These are the boys. Heard all the commotion uh, up here. Shake. Came running. It's good. Uh, pardon me, are you an elf, right? Yeah, born and raised. Oh, uh, I know someone who was uh, an elf that looks similar to you guys. I didn't like one uh, on the on the surface. Um, she was like a really great person, and she spoke very highly of her people. So this is you guys like hunt these things. Uh, what are they? That just attacked? Oh, these bad lads are cloakers. They, they catch all people unawares up here. Jump on your head, can't bite you about. You gotta have a mate with you to get them off. Yeah, this one kind of messed me up a little bit. Um, ah, you'll be I'm right. Sure he kind of slaps you on that. the arm. <laughs> take a, take a shorty, you'll be alright. Technically, every NPC has sort of had an Australian. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> these, I love how we all like immediately knew that as you came up with purposefully do it, you're overdoing the Australian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess it's a good thing we had uh, friends with us. Absolutely. Start walking up. Um, so, you mind uh, turning that light off, big man? That's really bright. <laughs> that covers his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, but doesn't it keep us safe from those things? Yeah, but also it irritates me eyeballs. I might put my mask back. Uh, no more. Yeah, yeah. Let no, me do I'll that. Tur I'll turn. I'll turn it <laughs> off. Yeah, no, oh, all right. Yeah, yeah cheers. <laughs> and uh. <laughs> I love uh, the idea that like, oh, you're like, oh, sorry, and like you go to turn it off, but like when someone to turn turn it brighter for a moment, I was like, no, no, off, 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 off sorry. <laughs> no, close the uh, book and turn the light off. So what brings you fellas down here? <laughs> well, yeah, we weren't going on a uh, pleasure stroll. We were um, looking for certain materials that we could use to upgrade our weaponry and, and armor. Things have been kind of messy uh, up on the surface. I don't know if you've known. Things have been coming back to life. And the further uh, towards the source we go, the worse the enemies appear to be. So we're trying to gear up. Yeah, all right. That sounds real weird. Proper weird. We didn't really never go up there. Too bright. But good to know people are alive. What about during the night? Well, not sure if you know this, but we don't really know when that is. Hard to tell. Oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess that would be hard to tell under yeah. here. We got like watches and stuff made by the gnomes, but. This must be really hard for Comet, who's always like about the <laughs> night sky. And you're like deep underground where there is no sky or concept mm. of day and night. You're like out of your element. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're the stars. Well, no stars, stars. but you know, it's, it's beautiful down here. Some places look amazing. Other places will kill you. Sounds about the same. Oh, yeah, so you guys want to head down to the town then? Go to town. Let's go to town. That'd be great. You <laughs> just yes. down to the mini lights down below. Is that where? Oh. Do you think we could find the tools that were in this in this town? Oh, well, potentially. We've got a big mining group down there, so a couple of blacksmiths. Do we know like what? Do this is to cheeky. Do we know uh, like what kind of tools it is that we're looking for? We're not just gonna grab any tool. Um, yeah, something? definitely sure. just like more advanced blacksmithing tools. You 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 would recognize them when you saw them. Okay. Just whatever uh, better, better tools are. Yeah. 
like a better anvil, gonna, maybe a better. Can I get the? Can we get the specifics, like like yeah, machine you know, of the metal? Can you describe uh, in detail so I know exactly? <laughs> it it does better. technically give you magic stuff when you upgrade again, so they probably also, uh, with them, will offer trade deals now to get the materials to upgrade. So you're probably more doing this to reconnect the supply chain to the upper ground as well. But Harold does definitely need better tools. Which is Cheeky, I want to I want to cast um tongues on myself. Huh? Not on the first date. <laughs> 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 Sprouts his tongues out of his metal head. <laughs> uh, I want to say this oh, would you and your friends um mind leading us to this town? Uh, so what does what, what tongues actually do? Grants the creature you I touch heard. the ability to understand, and whenever you speak, they just don't so really say. So when I say, mm -hmm. um, "Would you mind leading us to the town?" They the the others would hear me say that, and would you mind leading us to the <laughs> <Yeah>. town, then, <laughs> mate? Oh, that's <laughs> undercommon. Oh god, they would understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, rather kind of waves to the others. He's like, oh, yeah, you betcha. These fellas can take mm -hmm. care of these things. I mean, you guys want a wing or something? No, it's... Oh, uh, do you eat I mean, those? yeah, yeah. I'd actually love one. I, I oh, made the myself. The thing. <laughs> yeah, they kind of gestures to the other one. He's like, oh, go on then. Couple wings there. <laughs> take a wing in. I was kind of butcher it a little bit yeah. by just using the great sword and just kind of hack a wing off and then kind of put it in a bit of leather parchment and then put it in my <laughs> cook bag. How, how big of a piece do you take? Is it like a trivial amount? Are you taking a small amount or a whole backpack slot amount? A backpack slot amount. Right. I'll make this into like a big like first time underground meal. <laughs> <laughs> Is it safe to eat the wings mm -hmm. of these creatures? Of course it is. Been aiming for years. Yep, steps over this one. Oh, then. Oh, all right, I guess we'll follow him. I have no problem trusting strangers. They did help us. You know? I mean, we did. We did come down here to make to contact them, so it would be kind of rude to be like, mm. Who are you? We don't know you. Get away from <laughs> us. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Alright, so Riley leads you down many different areas to uh, to another elevator, actually. That It's a bit more natural. Mm. It's kind of like a spiral one that kind of just spins downwards. Um, you, you definitely don't. Whoa. It feels weirder, but you are in the same place. Like they've, there's like ball bearings or something that keeps it from mm -hmm. spinning. Like the Anne Arlando elevators. Very, very literally, those elevators. Um, mm -hmm. you come down to a town that's lit more by weird things. Like there's any lamppost is full of like either some animals flying about, like little fireflies or glowworms or. Just a glowing substance to make this place look a lot more blue and purple. Uh, what are those kind of lights going about as I find my damn reveal? What? <laughs> as I have run out of things to vamp with and I'm now looking for my map. <laughs> yep. uh, he takes you through the town. A lot of people kind of shoot your looks. A lot of children are like, whoa, new people, what the hell? But they kind of <laughs> give you your room as... Uh, Riley takes you to a more industrial area of the town. I can... Come on. Where's, where's the start? Where's the end? Come on. Come on. How do I... How do I... There. Okay. Ah. Hmm. There we go. And I'll paste you all down there. Look at that guy. He's got a hammer. He's got a hammer. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> <laughs> we slaughter the entire town and take all of their things. <laughs> Some guy is like on the ground bleeding. Why? Why? Because he had a hammer. 
the most nonsensical massacre that's ever happened. Mm-hmm. All right, let's cool. go. Sort of. This is a nice cow. Mm-hmm. How do you... I like how colorful it is. Stop those things from coming down here. Well, those things are actually a bit smarter than you might catch them for. They can talk, actually. They just don't like to. They don't come down here because we've got big mm. weapons that uh, shoot them. Mm. Pretty simple, if you ask me. Up there, though, you know. I'm easy pickings. There are no more people are coming down. You kind of backhand slaps, flots them on the chest. <laughs> A bit hard. No, and fellas are coming down there. We might post more guards up there. Get some weapons up there. Make sure you're safe. Yeah, I think there's going to be more people probably coming down here eventually. That might be a good idea. If those things can talk, do they have uh, places where they go? Uh, Probably. I'm not mm. the expert on them, but they, they got some semblance of uh, sanity and culture. Surely they got a home. Hmm. But they do like jumping on people's head and eating them, so, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> He walks over to what seems to be the blacksmith area. You can see that there seems to be like a food stall here with a bunch of little critters and bugs. Uh, I'm immediately for sale. Bob of bugs. Yeah, little, little bugs, little critters. <laughs> and, and, and another merchant that seems to have all sorts of different crystalline gems and jewels all over the place. Uh, a lot of like mm. bars of gold, like, like the full-on wicked shiny merchant who's like trying to show them off to you as, as you walk past i'd like to go <laughs> over and look at the gems then <laughs> <laughs> uh they gesture about their table he's like we've got many pretty gems here metal man look at all this yeah it reaches onto one of the uh pillows that have the larger gems and pulls up like a rather large square amethyst that like it's probably worth a lot. Like, we got this from the mines the other day. Is there a, the kind of gem that I'm looking for? Uh, are you asking or looking? Well, looking first, I All suppose. right, roll a perception. Ah, closed my... Would it be perception or investigation? Uh, either. Just look at which one I am better at. <laughs> and it is perception. Oh! Uh, you definitely Ooh. find... in the. It's definitely not shown on the pillows, as it's not like one of the classic... Like, he's got like a ruby, a sapphire, and an amethyst chill in there. But in like the pile of gems to the side, you kind of like swath your hand through it, and you do find a, a rather sizable... Red Zircon gem. Ooh. Uh, I, and he can understand me. Yeah, uh, you got your time, though. Um, how much for this one? Uh, he looks at it, then kind of like takes it from you and like flicks down like a Spy Kids visor thing that comes down like five times <laughs> to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and they rub their chin. Hmm. Thousand gold. He offers it back to you. Do I know if that would be like a fair price or? Uh, roll an insight. Uh, you feel like he is probably up pricing it, but more because who else is buying these things? Yeah. And you know what, what is overpricing with the potential gain from this jet like personal <laughs> you know in terms of just raw stuff but in terms of what it can do for you definitely overpriced you know mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you and I'll 
walk away. <laughs> but maybe I can do it in such a way that I want to get his attention. I'm not... But I guess what I'll say oh, is... You're uh, trying to like be like, no deal, but want him to get to make a better deal kind of thing. There is zero chance that this is worth 1,000 gold. Um, if you're ready to make a serious offer, uh, I will be over with uh, speaking to the smith. And then I'll begin to persuasion with advantage. Hopefully this is pretty good. Mm. 750. You feel like that's a bit more fair? Mm. Or much more fair? I will think fair? on it. And then I will walk away. There you go. Place it back down. He's here to place it somewhere else, so someone else might not be able to buy it. They, they're hopeful. <laughs> mm. uh, you hear Riley talking to the drow, who have both been distracted by him, as he's probably... Well, you could definitely hear him asking for the tools. Um, but they seem to be on the tail end of the conversation as you arrive. Uh, what are the rest of you doing down here? So you're grabbing critters? Grabbing the bugs? I'm just curious about what all this is. It, it, fries, it, it, you said it looks like a food stall, so... Yeah, it, it is, like, very odd things that you have never eaten before. Weird underground grubs and bugs. Some glow, some don't. Some are, like, skewered on, like, a kebab stick and being, like, roasted over something. There are, like, underground underwater clams that are, like, weird and have these, like, little glowing spots on them. It's just oh, mm. a whole bunch of, like semi-aquatic looking food from the underground. Cheeky, I'm, oh. gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I did want to say, I, I am gonna have to go. You guys are obviously welcome to keep playing. That is I absolutely have tongues, fine. Tongues is up. It lasts for an hour. It's not concentration, I don't think. And then I'm willing to cast it again if, for the purposes of... The reason I cast it is I, I don't want these people talking about stuff betwixt one another yeah. and trying to get one over on the outsiders so <laughs> yeah uh, i'm i also know comprehend languages which i would also willing to cast if tongues like runs out absolutely uh, with, with that i'm gonna have to go so bye everybody uh, bye. 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 oh no the pictures they're all messed up mm -hmm. no. they're so much bigger now on yeah, discord right. <laughs> can mm -hmm. i put the non viewable participants here and like do this that'll do it alright we'll probably only go for a little bit then but uh mm -hmm. there, there are many weird animals and insects and arachnids to try from this stall I'm just Silas will just like a tourist just go like do you speak common <laughs> they nod slowly <laughs> okay so what is all this? And they rub their chins. Well, general snacks for down here. You know, not not big meat like some of the animals give, but definitely fast food for down here. Mm -hmm. Got strange like, critters and bugs. I kind of rummaged through the bugs and I was like, oh, oh, don't eat these. Wait until they're bigger. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is already dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the car, we have oh, when we can. Rot. I'm telling I'm Silas. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh. Like the oh, these are good. These are my favorite, actually. <laughs> uh I mean, do you have like a recipe book if you want to trade some cooking se secrets for some underworld cooking for some overworld <laughs> cooking? Uh, he looks like around at cookbook. his stall that doesn't look like any cooking takes place more than just <laughs> cooking the thing. It just so frying just, them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you want to cook a book, you might have to go to one of the restaurants down here, but... Restaurant? <laughs> I mean, I'm no fancy chef. It's mainly the miners and stuff that come down here for this grub. I'll just turn to Comet and just be like, Comet, we gotta go to a restaurant. <laughs> I haven't been to one. In literally almost uh, eleven years. <laughs> Wait. Oh, what's a restaurant? <laughs> I 
right, um, <laughs> you broke take, them. T- take like two hours. We're gonna go for a bit. Where's the closest <laughs> restaurant? <laughs> I it gives you a location for a restaurant. <laughs> and uh I'll just take Comet by the hand to the restaurant. <laughs> I trust you guys can deal with all of this. I have to show Comet like underworld cuisine now. <laughs> well, I'm I, when I come back, I can make something. Uh, as you two leave, Riley comes back to you and Adelaide and Flotsam, I suppose, <laughs> watching them leave. <laughs> like, oh, where's your, where's your fellas going? You're ditching you. <laughs> oh, wandering off, they get easily distracted. Oh, yeah, I get that. So... What, what are you fellas here looking to do for these tools? I mean... No, expect it just to grab them and go for free, right? Of course not. It wouldn't be so rude. Right, brilliant. All right. So we got something you guys can help with. You're going in a tussle, right? You kind of boxes the air a little. Saw you <laughs> up there find those things. We try our best to be, yes. Right, so... Need something tussled? Yeah, we got to tussle something huge, right? We've been mining. We've got mines deep in these caverns. We've gone to one section with these gems. They're really precious. They're like... Well, they're just good. We want them. But there's a big beastie in the way. Gotta fight a Balrog. I'm thinking... (laughs) You come with me. We all work together. Catch this beast. Kill it. Eat it. Get the gems. Fair enough. Hell yeah, let's do it. Sweet. We'll probably wait for your mates to come back though. They just <laughs> when, they're, when they're done sightseeing, I yeah. believe. And for that, we'll uh, offer you some of these tools we got down here. And uh, well, you guys are set back up up there, right? We can send some shipments, get paid. Everyone's happy. Truly. Well, Adelaide just she's just kind of like <laughs> looking around, kind of uncomfortably. She's not used to being the face of the party. Got <laughs> <laughs> pats you on the shoulders. Like, how about we uh, show you around town while your fellas are doing whatever they're doing? Will be a while. I prefer to um, look at the site on my own, if that's all right with you. Absolutely. You know where we are. Just don't leave town if you don't want to get grabbed by something, you know? <laughs> you don't want to get... Yeah. <laughs> or someone... Yeah. You're like, mm. what? And he just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> the town very much safe. You'll be fine in town. It's been so long since we've had, like, a society. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem to have, like, yeah, any they're, problems. Yeah, they're relatively unaffected by what's going on. Yeah, you, you look around, people are just going about life. You're not sure if what happens up there is affecting down here at all, but it doesn't look like it. They just seem to be doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, almost, like, almost cartoonishly, Silas is, like, dragging Comet through town, <laughs> like, taking him on a date, 100%, just not yeah. saying it out loud. <laughs> a little montage. With mm-hmm. Adelaide wandering around the city, being lit up by all these fancy lights, uh, Lex probably joining you in a walk, or a head float. <laughs> uh, Common and Silas running off to find some nice cuisine place, and Ron Flotsam probably hanging out with Riley, getting ready for this hunt. We'll end off session 29 of <laughs> Antumbra. <laughs> Might wait until a bit later to do the Q&A, considering <laughs> we're getting copy claimed be- right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Cut no the stream, cut the stream! Cut, cut it! Everyone run! <laughs> 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 Only we can hear it. Only we can hear it. Oh man. Well. Yeah, we'll probably do questions a bit later on. 
as viewer retention at this point is probably as sparse as it can be, being in the smack dead middle of a series. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, um, yeah. We'll hopefully be here next week with a full party for a uh, beastie hunt and better tools acquiring. Yeah, the get out of here and keep going. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, get better tools, better equipment, better Back stuff. to the story. Hey, this is the story. You've mm. found it. You can stay Just down here. Like, I mean, we, we found could've... this trailer. Yeah, you found this trailer. <laughs> we could have went hard mode and just like not upgraded any of our stuff mm. just try to get to the campaign like that and you would never would have met out. riley and the boys mm-hmm. imagine <laughs> riley these little boys riley and his fellas there you go on what a beast you with them doing? <sighs> mm-hmm. <laughs> all right we'll get out of here and mm. let everyone go about the rest of their day i hope you all had fun and yeah, that was great. Everyone for a wicked battle. Time. See ya. Oh, Are we? Are I we... think next week is a no go. <laughs> yeah, I think with all is... like Gen Con stuff setting up, or just uh, is it next week? I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, no. it's two days before Gen Con, so we yeah, have, we, so we, we should be good. For if you're yeah. all fine and not hastily getting ready still. I know I'm going to be fine because poor fellas mm-hmm. in Australia and can't do can't have shit in Australia. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it, it would be the week <laughs> after we wouldn't be able to have it because I think some of us would still yeah. be traveling back. We'll see. Mm-hmm. So, right. oh yeah, we'll see you in Ooh. whatever area you see us in next. Some of us will probably see stream later doing other shit. Bye. Later. Bye. 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 <laughs>